In this example, we'll be using exercise 11.4 that can be found in your textbook on page 521. We are going to do the journal entries associated with issuing a note payable. The information given to us in example 11.4 is that a business has issued a 30-day 7% note for $150,000 to a creditor on account. And we need to journalize the entries to first record the issuance of the note and then the payment of the note at maturity, including the interest. Again, they tell us that we've issued the note for $150,000 to a creditor on account. We can issue a note for one of three reasons. For a loan of cash, to replace an existing account's payable, or for the purchase of merchandise. In this problem, it says it was issued to a creditor on account, which means that it's replacing an existing account's payable. So the first journal entry we need to do to issue the note is that we have to eliminate the existing accounts payable. We know accounts payable is a liability and therefore would have a credit balance. So if we want to eliminate that amount, we would debit accounts payable to the full balance of $150,000. We've now issued the note, which means that we have signed a note payable for the full $150,000. We have just issued our note. Remember, whatever business is issuing the note is the one that is borrowing. In part B, they want us to journalize the entry for the payment of the note at maturity, including the interest. So before we do our journal entry, we have to do an interest calculation. In order to calculate interest, we need to take the full face value, multiply it by the interest rate, and multiply that by the amount of time that we have to pay back the note. All of your interest rates are expressed in annual terms. And in this case, I only have 30 days to pay back the note. So I do not want to have to pay an entire year's worth of interest for only a 30-day loan. So in this case, we will take our total face value of $150,000. We will multiply it by our interest rate on the note, which is 7%. And we'll multiply that by the amount of time that we had to pay back the loan. In this case, 30 days. So we simply do 30 divided by 360. We'll be using 360 rather than 365 as our base. This equation, again, $150,000, our total face value, multiplied by the interest rate, which is our annual interest rate of 7%, multiplied by the amount of time we had to pay it back. Don't forget that last piece. That's very important. So for this loan, we have to pay $875 in interest. We can now journalize the payment of the note. We will eliminate our notes payable for the full $150,000. We can only take off the note at what we put it on for. We know that we not only have to pay $150,000, we also have to pay an additional $875 in interest. This is considered an expense to our business. So we have an interest expense of $875.
And to pay off this loan, we have to pay out cash. And the cash will be the total value we need to pay, which is $150,875. This example is an example of what we call an interest-bearing note meaning there's an interest rate that we have to pay when the note matures or becomes due, and our proceeds equal our face value, meaning what we're getting, in this case $150,000, is exactly the amount of our note.